has been forever since I filmed. So basically last time I uploaded a video was kind of around Black Friday, um, Cyber Monday kind of stuff. And I had these like big plans to film a lot during December. And now we're already more than halfway through January. And I just figured I'd catch up with you guys, let you guys know kind of what's going on. I did do a quick q and a if anyone had any questions for me for this video in on my instagram so if you don't follow me i'm at lizzie loves on instagram right now i share a bunch of random things i don't share too much about my kids anymore just because of what happened around this time last year if you don't know i will link that video up above but that's kind of why i don't share a lot of like day in the life stay at home mom kind of stuff um i did film a couple of day in the life videos in december but i never had a chance to edit them fully and get them up let me know if y'all are interested you probably aren't it's already mid-january i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day while i talk to you guys but pretty much if y'all aren't aware i have a almost four-year-old son who will be four in march and I have a daughter now who will be four months this Friday, which is super, super crazy. So it's kind of been a little hectic this past kind of two months. I never caught COVID yet or got COVID, um, but we definitely were getting colds. We're just getting over another cold right now. My family just does not do good in the winter time. And we just get sinus infections and colds and that's kind of what I've been dealing with. My husband's been super busy with work and I've been dealing with the kids being sick and me being sick with cold on top of we went to our first family vacation which we were dealing with the cold then too. And I'm so out of the loop. My battery is dying already so hopefully my other battery is charged let me go and do that on top of that I'm used to like the baby stage of Maddie and she's already oh wait I need to put her in the swing okay I'm back so where was I so our family was just kind of getting over a whole bunch of colds the past I don't know like basically two months when we get sick it takes us a while to feel better so and it kind of hit us all in waves lots of boogies lots of arguments about blowing your nose all that kind of stuff you know with toddlers um luckily madeline did not really get sick either time so that was good i just moved her into her swing she is definitely awake more a whole lot too so Another reason I haven't really been filming is because Jackson really has been school because of the two colds we had on top of Christmas break and snowstorms and MLK days and all the crazy stuff. And then Madeline's been awake more, so I just really haven't had a time for myself to just sit down and get pretty and film videos. Mainly what I've been doing the days that Jackson did have school was Christmas prep and getting Christmas stuff ready and just kind of being there for my husband and being there for Madeline majority of the time so I didn't really have time to talk to you guys which I definitely miss so I'm hoping to have more time here very soon and try and have more routine and things back to normal-ish, whatever normal is nowadays, if you guys know how I feel, which I'm sure you guys are all in the same boat. I still can't believe we are like going into year three. Jackson's birthday was March 20th, and the world basically shut down the week of his birthday in 2020, and I remember that because I kept like, should I cancel his birthday party? Should I not cancel his birthday party? We ended up canceling it with friends. Stuck with my parents and Isaac's parents hanging out and stuff. But I can't believe he turned two and now he's turning four. Like, this is just... I'm over it. I'm burnt out. Kind of the whole fact, too. We decided to get pregnant again during the time that... 
vaccines were coming out last year and everything was supposed to start getting better and we're still in the mess of it which really is frustrating and I know it's frustrating for a lot of y'all too using my tinted hydrator if you can tell like I definitely am getting over my cold I got it definitely last out of all of my family and I also am still kind of breastfeeding so I can't really take much medication and stuff because of that so I'm still dealing with all of that which is super fun and not an another reason why I just haven't really been in the mood to be in front of a camera um, I definitely am working on losing the body the baby weight all that kind of stuff I probably have about 10 more pounds to lose I gained so much weight with Madeline compared to my first pregnancy but I definitely have been working on getting the pounds off and trying to be a lot healthier I have like my splurge days I have chick-fil-a once a week and then I just try and work out four times a week um, I've loved doing a blog a lot again I've loved going on walks I've been doing a lot of walks with the kids lately one of my girlfriends had a double stroller that she was not using and she let me use it and I have been loving it with my kids um, before I was taking Madeline in the single stroller that we had we had the city mini g2 stroller and we got a little glider board for Jackson to kind of ride on it but really like my thought was like he's four he can ride a scooter he can walk he can do all that stuff but he definitely would rather ride on the glider board and stop for every pine cone and all the like toddler things you know what I mean so that's what he would rather do really enjoying it it's not a running stroller it's definitely just a push and you definitely have to avoid like cracks so like around my neighborhood we have a bunch of trees and stuff and it's kind of like an older neighborhood so sometimes you have to kind of pick up the stroller to continue walking but I've been getting a really good workout and enjoying doing that something I plan on starting on my channel this year is mommy baby or mommy kid favorites every month so I've already started a list of things that I have been personally loving and things that my kids have been loving um, and I plan on sharing that with you guys every month. It could be from TV shows, toys, it could be cleaning products, it could be fashion, beauty, things like that. So I have a huge list going and I'm excited to kind of start that series and share with you guys the products that we've been loving here in my home. So I thought that would be really fun. Um, a lot of y'all just started joining me with like the Amazon favorites and like the mommy stuff. If you haven't been following me for that long, I've been doing, or I started my channel doing project painting and using up makeup and buying a whole lot of makeup and decluttering and all that kind of stuff. So how I'm gonna incorporate that this year is going through my products and figuring out what specific products I want to focus on and use up this year. Another thing alongside that is I plan on doing an inventory and a declutter of the products that I have, truly go through and see if I actually want to use it up and what I have. So that is kind of my thing. I tried to do a bunch of little project pans in the beginning of last year, and then I got pregnant and then like just life got crazy with two kids. But this year, I plan on just having a group of products that I'll kind of update you guys on throughout the year. I'll probably do quarterly updates. So I won't be doing all the little different Project Pan challenges. I'll just kind of have certain products that I'm working on and give you guys updates that way and declutters and stuff like that. I've definitely been a lot more ruthless just in general with my declutters. Like clothing wise, anything I really don't like. Pajamas I just randomly grab for. I've just been starting to throw it in a big black bag. Toys that annoy me or annoy my kids I've been throwing in a big black bag. So... I'm going to be as ruthless with my beauty products, skincare, hair care, all that kind of stuff here as well. So I'm excited for that. If you were following me last year, you would know that I was panning this eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today. So I'll show you guys real quick what that palette ended up looking like. But I did use this palette a lot, but 
only used up one eyeshadow and then almost used up the other one. So I plan on continuing to use this, incorporating other eyeshadows into my collection. A lot of my stuff is starting to get really old though, so I'm going to work on decluttering all that kind of stuff. So yeah, a lot of changes here on my channel. Definitely plan on doing a lot of my Amazon hauls for you guys, letting you guys know what I've been loving. I just purchased a couple things this year already that I am so excited to share with you guys and talk to you guys about because they are game changers, life changers kind of thing, especially cleaning wise. If you follow me on Instagram, you may already know what I will be talking about. But yes, I will still be updating you guys on that kind of stuff. Letting you guys know like what we're cooking and stuff. I know a lot of y'all want cooking videos. I did a lot of those cooking videos back in the day when I only had Jackson and he was a good eater and I cooked during preschool hours or during his nap time hours. Jackson really does not nap anymore. Um, I still try and do a quiet time, but right now with so many of his activities, um, we don't really do quiet time some days because his activities are like at 1.30 to 2.30 and then it's just kind of too late to try to do a nap. I will say I have been enjoying when he doesn't do a nap. I've been enjoying having both kids asleep by 8.30. So then I can either go to sleep or I can veg out and do whatever I want. Um, Maddie is still waking up in the middle of the night to eat. She goes down sleep around 8.30ish, sometimes earlier, um, and she'll be awake. And then she will do like sometimes an 11.30 wake up, and sometimes she'll just sleep until 2. If she doesn't do the 11.30 wake up, she'll sleep till 2.30, and then sometimes she'll do 3.30. So that's kind of my normal. And then Jackson will technically... He really can sleep through the night, but he's been needy lately where he will wake up at like four or five o'clock for me to like watch him do something. Let's see, any other updates? We did go on our first family vacation of four and we went to Asheville, rented a house and that was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, that's something my family loves doing is like Asheville in the wintertime, Myrtle Beach in the summertime. So we went to Asheville, brought her. That was a lot of fun. The best day was probably just to kind of be at the house and hang out and not really do much. So that's kind of what we did, play in the woods, all that kind of stuff. So Jackson loved it. Um, real quick, I'll do a couple of questions and then I need to get Maddie. She seems to want to me real quick. Um, one is what are your long-term goals and what do you think your first vacation spot will be with baby girl? First vacation spot was Asheville. We definitely plan on doing that yearly. Bit long-term goals, just kind of getting a day by day right now. Let's get all of the, everything in life figured out. Um, long-term goals is, I mean, I definitely want to get back into fitness, pure bar, Zumba, all that kind of stuff. Eventually I would love to be an instructor and do that once the kids are in school. But right now my priority is like getting through the day, making sure everyone's happy and healthy, house is clean, all that kind of stuff. So long-term goals, especially the past two weeks, is just not on my hindsight right now. It's definitely I just get through the day, make sure everyone's healthy, not screaming, all that kind of stuff. Uh, any plans to visit Walt Disney World? We plan on visiting once Madeline is five. My husband definitely is one of the proponents of like he wants the kids to remember it and it's very expensive so we are wanting to do that probably in like five years go around Christmas time that is our goal but maybe I can work on him more but right now that is the plan so thank you guys so much if you are still here and hanging out with me and I apologize again for not having videos basically for two months just been a crazy two months just trying to balance two kiddos my husband working a lot and school and covid stuff and i mean we haven't had covid but you know what i mean um so yeah so i hope to see you guys in my next video i plan on filming an empties video here next so thank you guys again and i'll talk to you in my next one bye
you try Do you know 